Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with Doris Burke on our sideline. Here's Oladipo. 20 points for him last game against Miami. To the right side. Pass to Harris. He kicks to Harkless. Back to Harris. Drilled from 11 feet out. Oh, nice. Harris has got his second basket of the game. Baller, he's checked in for Peyton. And now we go to our rookie leaderboard to get a check on the players at the top of the freshman class in assists over the last 10 games. You take a look at Ball, an uncommonly gifted passer, leading the league in assists. Tell you what, he's made some highlight reel passes these past few weeks, as a few of the other rookies on the list have done too. And I love fancy oh. passes, but that's wow. not the only thing I've admired about him. I mean, he does some of the simple ones too. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Paul Millsap is one of the most versatile forwards in the game, a natural power forward, but he brings some small forward qualities as well. He's a heck of a player, and he's developed that three-point shot to round out his game. Lock at six. Baller passes to Harris. And oh, my gosh. What? Now here comes Teague, leading the break. Misses the layup. The Magic have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Harris a screen on Millsap. The kick out to Oladipo. Pass to Ball. Six on the shot clock. And it's Vucevic in the corner. Baller passes to Harkins. That one off the back oh. iron and out. Boy, from my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Savaloja with it. Now guarded by Baller. Picked by Horford. Dishes it to Kira. We have a step back. The shot is off. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Their last encounter was in Orlando. Yeah, that last meeting, they won the game. And it, remember, it was a huge day for the bench. I mean, they got some key points from their reserves. Here's Harkless. Nailed from three-point line. Nice. And the Magic lead by four. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Carroll kicks to T. Millsap sets the pick for T. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Steve talked about the contribution they got to the to win this matchup last time, Clark, and it was a great game for them in that regard. Kevin, it really was. I mean, the depth they have was apparent on that day. I mean, there was no drop-off when they went to their bench, and uh, the coach has to be extremely confident knowing that his reserves can handle their weight. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Scotty's checked in for Millsap. Ken Bazemore comes in. Oh, nice. Get to him. Max subbed in for Tabo Cephalosha. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area has been huge for them. Here's Horford, and that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Horford's got his second basket of the night. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Vucevic a screen on Teague. Baller passes to Vucevic. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. There's a screen. Back to Harris. It's deflected. Oh, oh my. The body. Gordon against T. Here's Scott. Oh, Makes it tried it. Scott's got his first two points of the night. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. Baller, T covering. Baller passes to Gordon. He dishes it to Vucevic. Put a new in by the screen on T. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Come on. Second chance effort. Misses at the rim. Not to buy his mistake. And Max at the basement. And stolen by Harris. And here they come. 
No good from Baller. Well defended. He's not someone who oh responds my. to that kind of defensive pressure. Oh my god. I don't believe that. Now, oh, oh, oh. Horford sets a screen for Can't believe I missed the open there. Find the shoot. Here's Matt. Parries the long range jumper. Oh, what a shot. Max got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Kicks it out to Gordon. A three ball. Shoot it. Count the bucket. Nice. By two. What a terrific job to get the release perfect that time. I thought it might get blocked or deflected, but nice stroke. Even with giving up a lot of size in that matchup, still able to get off a nice long range shot there. Baysmore dishes the team. Here's Scott. No luck. Some solid defense from Harris. Lando's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. There's the pass to Ball. Harris a screen on Teague. Baller passes to Harris. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed. Oh, nice. Tobias. Now it's a four point magic lead. Now Teague. His last outing, 16 points for him. From the line. And he gets it to go. Starting the second quarter. And guys, for the Magic, what jumps out to you so far, numbers-wise? It was a pretty solid first quarter for this club. They limited their mistakes and really took advantage offensively. Well, boss. You know what? I like what I've seen from them on the other end, forcing a few gifts. Uh, excellent pressure and good activity with the hand. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for Atlanta, Shelvin Mack is out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Kent Bazeman. Then it's Mike Scott. And it's Payne in a possessive position. Oh, wow. He's got to do better than that defense. Basically, them to no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. A team that has unfortunately come up for this Orlando franchise is their inability nice. to keep a franchise talent for long. Of course, you think both about Shaq That's and right. Dwight Howard and their exits. We're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Here's Baysmore in Atlanta again with the bucket. I'll tell you what, it's a huge plus to have him make some shots like that. Orlando leading. Picked by Vucevic. Baller passes to Vucevic. He used that pick to get in close. Oh, nice. Vucevic has got six in the quarter. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Uh, giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Hey, Kevin, as you know, Adrian Payne out of a talented Michigan State basketball program. He's one of the older rookies in this draft class, but he only started playing basketball in the eighth grade. He said, quote, I haven't been playing the game for that long. I got better in a hey, period of time, and I became a great player. I feel like I have a lot of room to grow. One can only imagine, guys. That's right, Doris. Thanks. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Paul Millsap's checked in for Scott. And what? And Mike Harris subbed in for Matt. Relax. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. Schroeder to DeBazemore. There's the dish to Schroeder. Connects from three-point range. Oh, wow. Schroeder's got himself on the board with three there. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Nice. What the hell? Why? Here's the screen. Off the screen, Drop and off. Orlando converted. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. Looking at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks, it was a loss to Dallas. And the result of that game seemed inevitable because they struggled most of the night. What was a surprise was how close the game actually was. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it looked like they had spaghetti legs, no lift. Everything was kind of limp and no life. 
Just a general lack of energy. Shot clock at two. Releases from 15. The shot by Carroll, no good. The Magic have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding nope. shooting. Oh, you trash. Pick by Vucevic. Baller passes to Vucevic. Oh, Vucevic. Oh, I knew. Here we go, one on one. Here's Baseman. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. What a huge play. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Pick by Vucevic. Baller passes to Gordon. On easy. Zap grabs the miss. Oh my God! Oh. has gotten off four Shoot. shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. He'll zap a screen. Right wing. Here's Bazemore. Eleven points for him in that last game against Dallas. Oh, what block! Now ridden out. Picked by Vucevic. Baller passes to Gordon. Ridnauer from outside. Nice pass. Ooh, Magic come on. Again, can't hit. Trash. Ridnauer, you're trash. Attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Schroeder dishes to Millsap. The feed now to Schroeder. Pass to Baseman. Millsap a screen on Ridnauer. There's the block. Payne shot is good. The Magic trail by four. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Gordon kicks it to Red now. Come on. Fournier best to ball. Pick by Vucevic. Six to shoot. Come on, Vucevic. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Nikola Vucevic has a basketball pedigree. I mean, it's pretty impressive as far. That's it. He's professionally in Europe. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Well, no doubting that was a rough second period for you guys. What are they doing that gave you so much trouble? Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. So on the floor for Orlando. At the two and three, it's Oladipo and Tobias Harris. Gordon and Vucevic, the big men inside. And it's Peyton in at the one spot. And stolen by Peyton. Peyton left side. Gordon trying to break loose. Goes up again. The shot is off. Great D that time from T. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that ball. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. That's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Baller, he's checked in for the match. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Yes, guys, Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. Teamwork was the theme of the discussion in that huddle. He said, oh. well, good shots are there for us on the perimeter if we share the ball, work it around, and find the open man. The other thing he stressed was the need to nice. be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. T dishes to Cephalosha. He feeds it to Millsap. In the corner, Cephalosha with it. Five on the clock. It's hauled in by the Magic. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. Gordon kicks to Harris. Gordon with a screen on Teague. Feeds to Oladipo. Pass the ball. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Not often you see him take that shot. Harris has got five points now in the quarter. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Teague, the pass to Millsap. <laughs> Finds the open look, and it's on target. Millsap's got six. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Vucevic, a screen on Teague, inside to Vucevic. 
Can't get it to fall. The Atlanta leading by 17. Horford sets a screen for T. Some solid defense from Harris. Well, his shot's been off today. No question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Atlanta. Vucevic a screen on Teague. Baller passes to Vucevic. An easy layup after coming off the pitch. He's got 17. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Out. Top the key, Bazemore. All alone. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Oh, come on. Bazemore's got eight points. Left him out. Let's take a little closer look at Jeff Teague, some of his numbers. Last 10 games for him have been very nice. He's around 14 points per game, six assists, and three rebounds. And you really can't find much fault with him as far as his performances lately. Yeah, he's been very, very dependable, steady, uh, doing pretty much everything they've asked of. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. We didn't go That's his fourth foul no. of the contest. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number Some five points. would put him in a rough, tough spot. Vucevic a screen on Teague. Picked by Vucevic. Here is outside. They grab their own miss. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And we can look quickly at a group of rookies having a very good run. The top scoring first year players in the NBA for the past 10 games. You take a look at Ball. Top five score in the league. What a player he is. And compared to his rookie counterparts around the league, obviously that was a pretty good run. And I really believe that's the kind of role he'll get on more and more because he's got some oh. awesome explosiveness. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Gordon with a screen on Teague. In the corner, it's Harris. Out to the right wing. There's the pick. Kicks it to Oladipo. And he uses the glass on the lane. Vucevic has got 21. How huge has he been, giving his team the lift? Without his work offensively, Steve, I don't know where they'd be. Shooting at great efficiency. I don't think they'd have a chance without him. Here's Teague. He kicks to Horford. Oh, I just Teague. Oh, tries to save it. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. And Orlando making a change here. Harkless has checked in. The Magic trail by 15. You know, the issue really with Atlanta this year and moving forward isn't that they're a bad team. They've just been kind of stuck in oh, the nice. middle road of mediocrity. They're competitive, play hard. Uh, they're hoping to find a way to get to the next level now. Teague's at the Bazemore. The tray. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his sixth rebound on the night. Lando's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Left side, Harris. A baseline. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There are the oh, wow. with another bucket. And with Atlanta, as you said, for a while now they've been a playoff caliber team, but making that next step into the elite class of the East has been hard. Here's Bazemore, guarded by Oladipo. Outside Millsap. Shot clock at six. Bazemore dishes to T. Here's Horford. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Horford's got seven. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill the team. Pass to Oladipo. Fires the three. Oh. Carroll with the rebound. The quick kill. And some of it, Clark, for Atlanta making the jump is his personnel. It's never easy to get a franchise player without a high draft. Pick. And in that sense, Kevin, they are a bit in danger of becoming a treadmill team. But they have a good base right now. And I think we just need to continue to keep adding talent and have the talent they have continue to develop. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Payne, he's checked in for Horford. Mike Scott comes in for Paul Millsap. Shelvin Max checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's Dennis Schroeder in for T. Oh, I'm checked in for Orlando. 
Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Here's Matt. He's got eight. Dishes at the basement. And it's Payne in the corner. Takes a three. Tries again. Got a piece of Oh my gosh, he's trash ass. Baller defended by Scott. Baller passes to Vucevic. Harris outside. Here's Baller. <laughs> Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Baller's got his third basket of the night. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies oh, on bodies. Be physical. Up. And oh, the jam by Heartless. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. And Max at the basement. He dishes it to Matt. From downtown. Here's Scott. Goes up and lays it. Scott's got six points. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Here's Baller. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at Atlanta. They would be at the golf course if the playoffs happened today. Looking to make a final push. And checking out Orlando. They're looking to turn it around down at the bottom of the conference now. Seeing where the Hawks are, they've just never really found their groove this season. I mean, not yet anyway. They're, they're kind of stuck in the middle of the pack right now. Man, they don't have a lot of time left to find that groove, Clark. That's the problem. I mean, unless things really come together for them soon, I think they're going to stay in kind of that middle of the pack area the rest of the way. Now, they got the most out of that possession, guys. The Magic trail by 11. 115 left to play in the third. He got right to the cup using that screen. Baller's got 10 points in just the second half. Atlanta's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. They set the pick. Here's Paysmore. And a miss there on the triple. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. The shot's good from Baller. Nice. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now you got to make a defensive adjustment here, Clark. Time to collapse inside, force the ball back out in the perimeter, make them beat you from long range. Baysmore dishes to Schroeder. Outside, Scott, six on the shot clock. Baysmore gets the bucket. Well, this quarter is going awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Picked by Vucevic. Here's Baller. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Both free throws good from Baller. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Here's Schroeder, and he drops in the way up on the glass. Schroeder's got his third basket of the night right there. That's where you like to get shots, inside and close to the hoop. Here's Baller, and no good trying to get that one. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight for the Hawks. Millsap comes in for Scott, and Damari Carroll subbed in for Shelvin Mack. Then for the Magic, Vucevic checked in for Harkness. Harris comes in for Fournier. And it's Oladipo in for Luke Ridnock. Millsap at power forward with Horford at center. Cephalosha is out there with Teague, and it's Carroll in at the small forward. So that's the Hawks five. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. Teague's got his seventh assist in the game. Baller, he's checked in for Peyton. 
Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Baller, Teague covering from the baseline. Count it, and the Atlanta lead has been cut to Easy. just seven points in the basket from Baller. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. T kicks to Cephalosha. It's stolen by Vucevic. Baller passes to Harris. Gordon with a screen on Teague. Now the pass to Vucevic. Harris oh, dishes to Vucevic. Lock at six. And it's Harris off the drive. Soft touch off the glass. And now just a five-point Atlanta lead. Hawks have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Teague kicks to Millsap. Outside Teague. Horford sets a screen for Teague. In the corner, Cephalosha with it. Floats one up. Here's Horford. The defense. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And he knocks down the first one. Looking at the game Horford's been having, 11 rebounds, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. Gordon with a screen on Teague. Baller passes to Gordon. Oh. Now here's Teague. Addition now to Millsap. Here's Carroll, guarded by Oladipo. Cephalosha kicks to Carroll. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Atlanta again, missing. The Magic trail by seven. The feed to Harris. Passes to Baldwin. Back to Harris. Wide open, and he swishes it right through. Harris has got four points in the quarter. They've raised their field goal percentage just above 50% here. They actually look like a totally different team than what we saw in the first half. Much better execution offensively. Here's Teague, gets the 14 foot of the fall. And the Hawks lead by seven. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. It's Oladipo on the wing. That three off the mark. Oh, he has oh. not been on his game. You know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. And here is Cephalosha. He'll snap a screen. Cephalosha dishes to team. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch oh, offensively. Gosh. They desperately need a basket. Carroll kicks to Horford. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got six rebounds here tonight. Out to Harris. Gordon with a screen on Horford. Baller passes to Gordon. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite trailing in this game. Well, you know, that's when you need to be most aggressive when you're down. Another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. And that one misses. No what that time either. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a skosh. Now here is Cephalosha, guarded by Oladipo. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way oh. to the free throw line. Uh. Trying to make it a three-point play. Well, I like how Paul Millsap used his body to get into the defender there. Jeff Teague, one of the quickest and most elusive point guards in the NBA. He's incredible in transition, and where he's really improved is in the half court. He's figured out how to carve up defenses off the dribble. The Atlanta leading by 10.
Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Teague's got 14 points now in the second half. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Baller, Teague covering. Vucevic a screen on Teague. Baller passes to Gordon. Gordon with another miss. Oh, good. good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for him. Well, Paul Millsap has said he doesn't feel undersized anymore with the way the league is going. But you know, more emphasis now on spreading the floor, so Millsap fits in easier. He can always find somebody to guard. And the second free throw, good. And for Millsap, frankly, his height has really never been an issue. I mean, this is a guy who was a big-time rebounder throughout his days in college. But even though he's only 6'7", that 7-foot wingspan helps, and he's strong enough to hold his own with most forwards in the league. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. What is that? Guys, Millsap can rebound and defend the power forward position with the best of them. Yeah, you remember he led the NCAA in rebounding all three of his seasons at Louisiana Tech. So this guy has a nose for the ball. Maurice Harkless has checked in for the Magic. He's always been extremely reliable at the line, and today's been no different. Baller, T covering. Baller passes to Harkless. Vucevic, a screen on Teague, pass to Gordon, off the screen, and the call will be against Al Horford. Oh my gosh, Gordon. And that's it for him, he's fouled out. Not only that, we are in the bonus, we'll have to go to the line for two. Scotty's checked in for Al Horford. Vucevic is really a very capable mid-range jump shooter, but his post repertoire is still a work in progress, very much so, with his size and touch. You'd really like to see him develop that back-to-the-basket game. Cephalosia dishes to T. The defense. The gun. And he banks in the lane. Teague's got 24. You guys were talking about Vucevic developing inside Steve. There's also some work to do defensively. Yeah, still a bit foul prone. He's got to follow the Roy Hibbert school of defense, remaining vertical, walling off the court, and avoiding those fouls. To the wing on the left. Here's Harkless. Offline with his three. Oh my Such gosh. a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. You know, regardless of who starts the break, seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Baller passes to Gordon. Nice. Atlanta making a switch here. Haynes checked in. That free throw missing. It's off the run. Get the second one. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. It's Oladipo on the wing. The pass to Buck. No good. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Oh, that. Here's Carroll. Outside Teague. He feeds it to Cephalosha. Six to shoot. Teague against Oladipo. Orlando grabs the miss. Well, tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance an impressive win for the Hawks. Oh, the sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight. Is. Yeah, they sink one, Kevin, and then... They do it again. It worked. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. Well, they put themselves in the driver's seat as it applies to this season series. The win will give them a 2-1 edge with one game left. And, you know, no matter what happens next time they meet, I think this was the biggest game they'll play against each other this season. Getting that 2-1 advantage <sighs> means a lot. Here's Atlanta now. They're on a 16-6 run. Cephalosia kicks to T. 
feeds to Cephalosha. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. At the line of Mice. And he makes the first. And Magic making a change here. Good ball, congratulations. Okay. They've got the rotating. We did some good things tonight, but not good enough to get the W. That's the way it goes sometimes. What you think? I think some of us did our part, and others didn't. What are you trying to say? You did your part and the rest of us was messing around? Nah, nah, nah. I'm just saying, we all could have done more. I could have helped out on defense more, maybe made an extra pass. None of us are perfect. That's right. We all get back to work and the winds will take care of themselves. Yeah.